How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be explaining why you only have two more days to do this in MLB The Show 23. So let's go ahead and get right into it. The thing you want to focus on on this updated menu is the April 28th Mexico City Series and more. It mentions another program that's coming out probably going to feature some Nike City Connect uniforms. They're also going to add in some Tops Now players and it mentions an All-Star Game Flashback and Legends pack that should replace the Home Run Derby pack in the pack store. So you have until the 28th right now to purchase as many of the Home Run Derby cards as you can. I would recommend purchasing Vladimir Guerrero as I think he is the best one, but there are also plenty of base round cards that should go up in price. I was uh, somewhat on point with my Future Star prediction in that set two pack of the Future Stars. Not uh, They're still set one players, but the pack two of that Welcome to My Show pack, uh, the price of these Future Star cards did go up a little bit. I mainly invested in Andy Rodriguez and I made about 10K for each one. I'm expecting to do the same type of thing with that Home Run Derby pack. However, I just don't have a ton of stubs. I'll show you my team at the end. Uh, I did purchase some of these guys. But with that being said, we also got some brand new cards added into the game today. Luis Severino. And this card looks all right. He did have a finest card in MLB The Show 16 or 17. That kind of reminds me of that uh, Charisma series, Luis Severino. Now we also have Chris Bryant. This card looks pretty good. Some people are uh, probably looking at the vision and the clutch. I'm looking at the all-around player that Chris Bryant is. I mean, sure, if you get a guy on second base, then he'll have 92 contact rather than 120-something versus lefties. Uh, but with that said, he's still a pretty good all-around player that will have some value playing a variety of positions. Uh, for the remaining portion of the video, we're going to get into a game of ranked seasons. Currently, I'm 14-0 on the ranked seasons season, and uh, we're starting off with a weird hit. That was a home run from Trey Turner. Cutter, low and away. Here's the first perfect home run from Babe Ruth. So this is uh, something interesting. I've played three games with Babe Ruth. Kind of got off to a slow start. I was I started off like 0-4 for 4 with him. Got a couple base hits in a row, and then there he hits his first home run. That's going to bring up Chipper Jones, throws it right down the middle of the plate. In this video, in this game, we're facing uh, 92 overall captain Shohei Otani. So I have to keep that in mind, uh, the fact that it is not the 99. He has lowered hits in caper 9. He's not going to have as good of control. But he is still a pretty good pitcher with a good repertoire. So we're going to have to be patient at the plate. That was a weird bug in MLB The Show. I don't really know what happened with that pinpoint meter. They did say they fixed that, uh, but I have seen it happen a couple of times. Uh, not usually this early in the game, though, with maxed out, you know, confidence. Well, not maxed out, but fresh confidence, fresh stamina. He's only in the second inning, and uh, that slider was way off. Every other pitch, though, right on point for the most part. Chipper Jones making a play from third right there, and uh, we take a 2 nothing lead into... The top of the third inning, we have Babe Ruth up again. This opponent have been going to that pitch up and away. So even though I'm sitting low and inside on some of these pitches, I am looking for that fastball up and away. And that last pitch with Babe Ruth, you could see that I was kind of reacting to it. I thought he went right back to it there with Chipper Jones. It was an off-speed pitch that had uh, some good depth to it. I was got on top of it, rolled over, luckily got it through uh, the infield there. That's going to bring up Mike Trout, and you can see that his clutch attribute is activated. He normally has 110 contact, but with guys in scoring position, it drops down due to his clutch to 103, even though he is paralleled up. Uh, that's going to bring up Francisco Lindor. I'm pretty close to getting 100 contact and power across the board on that card at parallel three. Uh, but Munitaka Murakami has probably uh, left the team for a little bit. Even though he goes deep right here, I just recently picked up a couple brand new cards. And uh, I'll show you that here as the opponent turned off his PlayStation or something. I really don't know. Well, he's on Xbox. So he turned off his console. Uh, but we move up to 679, and I'm 15 and 0 on the year. Pretty solid start to rank seasons. Now we're going to open up a couple of packs before getting into a team update. I recently picked up Fernando Tatis, Ken Griffey Jr., and Vladimir Guerrero Sr. I spent pretty much all of my stubs here that you see in the top left there. I had about 400K. And then uh, we're pulling a Diamond Duos Pack 1. We get a solid Diamond, 99 overall. You Darvish, I will take it. I think that's the only card you can get from this, right? Is it you Darvish and 
someone else, I would want you. Uh, and here we got him. 99 overall, you Darvish. I've used this card a couple times. I've faced him. He's pretty disgusting. Uh, but mainly I've just used him against the computer. Playing against, uh, trying to get team affinities unlocked. But this is the current squad that I'm using. It is pretty much the best team in Diamond Dynasty. Aside from having Jorge Posada. And a couple pitchers. Right, My bench is uh, adjustable depending on what I want to put out there. Javier Baez would not typically be on this squad, but I needed an extra right-handed hitter that will play first base and could play uh, a multiple positions without using you know, Martin DeHigo or something like that, mixing it up a little bit. With that said, this is my current starting rotation, and then we have the bullpen. But that's going to do it for this video. Uh, you only have two more days. Well, technically about two and a half. Two and a half days to uh, invest in those home run derby cards. Until next time, peace out.